Welcome to the Vision Board Course with Charlie, where our instructor is Minister Terry Savelle Foy. All of your courses can be received at terrycourses.com, including the book, which we'll be reading from her book, Dream It, Pen It, Live It. We will be, we are in week two, Capturing the Vision. We'll be reading from chapter four, Design Your Board. Chapter four, design your board. What goes on the board? The indispensable first step to getting the things you want out of life is this. Decide what you want. Ben Stein. Designing your vision board is going to be a fun exercise, but it is way more than a craft project. It is the expression of your dreams and goals in a tangible form so you have them in front of you for motivation and accountability. John Asaraf tells the story of what his boards did for him on his road to success. He created a vision board of things he wanted to achieve. Whether he wanted to build a bigger business, acquire more money, or change his physique, he found pictures that represented what he thought those dreams would look like. While he was living in Indiana, he looked at his vision board every single day and visualized himself having acquired all the things he wanted to contribute on a daily basis. I moved three times from Indiana to LA to San Diego. I bought this house, renovated it, and had all the furniture and all the boxes that I moved away from five years earlier brought to this house where I live right now. One morning, my son had come to my office and he sat on those boxes that had some of my vision boards and goal boards inside. He asked, Daddy, what's in the box? I said, well, sweetheart, they are my vision boards. At five years old, he said, what's a vision board? I explained to him that a vision board is where I put my goals. He didn't understand. So I pulled out a vision board and you've got to remember these boxes have been sealed for five years. The first board had a wonderful little sports car that I bought, the watch that I bought, and a couple of other materialistic things. When I pulled the second vision board out of the box, it had a picture of the house that I had bought a year earlier, and I didn't even know that I was living in it. I had bought my dream home that I had cut out of a dream home magazine five years earlier. Now that may seem amazing to you, but can you imagine how I felt? I started to cry because I finally had an understanding of what I was doing to my brain all those years ago. It helped me build my company to the level that I was earning millions of dollars a year. It causes you to think in ways that are more in line with your goals versus what you currently have. John Asaraf. Frame your future. We are taught to frame our past by displaying photographs of what we've pre previously done and accomplished. But the opposite is true of your vision board. You are literally framing your future before it ever happens. This is the fun part. Designing a vision board is one of the most valuable things you will ever do to see the realization of your dreams right before your eyes. If you've ever taken the time to write your dreams and identify your top goals, now it's the time to illustrate them visually. Your vision board is a collage of images and symbols, visual representations of your personal dreams and goals. This is an incredibly useful tool to help keep you motivated to achieve them. As you watch your dreams come to fruition one by one, you will be inspired to continue dreaming. Most people think in pictures and images, not in words. When you think about the car you desire, you don't see in big letters C-A-R. You actually see a photo of your car in your mind. 
since your mind responds strongly to visual stimulation, your goals and dreams and pictures, it is important that you see your dreams before you. Be creative and enjoy searching for images that are a tangible representation of where you want your life to go. Use current photographs, search through your favorite magazines, and search the internet for what you're looking for specifically. It can include pictures of things you would like to have one day, but cannot necessarily afford them right now, such as an exotic vacation, a luxury car, a new house, an expensive ring. It can also include photos depicting improvement in areas of your life, greater health, a happy marriage, more children, or professional accomplishments. Look for items that inspire you. Print or cut out all the images that represent your big dreams. It could be a photo of the headline reading, New York Times bestseller, or top sales winner, or Grammy winner. It could be a photograph of your dream sports car, your vacation home in Maui, or your chic apartment in Paris. That's fine. Go back to the chapter where you began giving yourself permission to see beyond where you are today. Your smart goals in pictures. While I do believe you need to see where you are headed in the future by pinning your big aspirations, you also need to see smaller, obtainable goals on this board as well. As soon as you start achieving these more attainable goals, it will motivate you to stay focused on the larger dreams for your life. Referring back to your list of top 10 goals for the year, go through each goal one by one and research images that illustrate each goal. For illustration purposes, let's say a portion of your top 10 goals on your board could include goal number one, save $5,000. Print out a photo of cash, then write the vision and make it plain. Clearly type or write across this photo or near it, save $5,000 by December 31st. Goal number two, vacation in the Bahamas. Place a postcard or a printout of the Bahamas, the resorts you desire to stay at, or the excur excursions you plan to take. Research the cost to achieve this goal. Include flights, hotels, meals, excursions, spending money, etc. Write the vision and make it plain. Vacation in the Bahamas by July 31st, $7,000. Goal number three, purchase new dining room furniture. Research the furniture you desire. You can browse online, look through magazines, or visit local furniture stores and take a photo of you sitting at the dining table you desire. Place the photos on your vision board as if it already belongs to you. Research the cost. Write the vision and make it plain. Purchase new dining room furniture by Thanksgiving Day, $3,300. Goal number four, pay off my car. You could take a victory photo of you standing by your car with your hands up celebrating your debt-free car. Call the bank and find out the balance remaining. Write the vision and make it plain. I am driving a debt-free car $7,436.08 by September 30th. I recommend you keep it as neat as possible. When we get too many items on the board, it can create a snapshot of confusion. Be selective. Arrange your photos and your goals in an order that appeals to you. Too many items on the board can make it difficult for you to stay focused on the attainment of anything. Personally, I prefer to have giant numbers next to each of my 10 goals for the year. I have the number and the goal with the photo to match the goal. You can experiment with different designs and find the one that feels the best for you. You can choose colored or pattern backgrounds. 
You can use one or several photos for each goal, but be careful not to spend too much time searching for the perfect image of your goal. It could cause you to become frustrated, lose momentum, and never put anything up. Personally, I have one vision board at my house for my personal and family goals. I have an additional vision board at the office for my career and ministry goals. Special occasion and theme boards. Some people have several vision boards that represent specific themes or special occasions. For example, if you have a dream to take a cruise to Venice, you could design an Italian themed board. Be creative and arrange photos of the sites you desire to see. The romantic gondola rides, St. Paul's Cathedral, the picturesque countryside, the delicious gelato, etc. Again, research the cost to afford this dream destination and write it down. If your dream is to attend a specific college, you may want to design a university themed board to include photos of the campus, sports events, a specific college degree printed out with your name written across it, images of a cap and gown signifying completion of your goal, research tuition, room and board, and other fees necessary to achieve this goal. You may also want to put the word scholarship on the board and start applying. After all, you have not because you ask not. Start asking. If your vision board is to build your dream home, you may want to design a house theme board. It could include your desired floor plan, photos of interior design for specific rooms, spacious walk-in closets, desired furniture pieces, or lush landscaping photos. In addition to the images you desire, you should include financial goals attached to these dreams. If your dream is to get married, you may consider a wedding-themed vision board. You could include photos of your ideal wedding gown or tuxedo. You can pin images of chapels, cathedrals, or dream locations for your fairy tale wedding to your board. Wedding rings, floral arrangements, a wedding certificate. Let your imagination run wild in depicting your heart's desire on this board. Vision board for a family vacation. I have one friend who had a family vacation vision board located at the entrance of her home. It was placed in a prominent place with frequent traffic on purpose. She wanted each of her family members to stay focused on the vision of going on a Florida vacation. Rather than just discuss the idea of going to a tropical destination one day, she had an array of exciting photos of the resort placed on the board. She wanted her children to see the beautiful palm trees, luxurious swimming pools, and exciting water parks. She also included photos of the many activities that this vacation would include, such as attending the happiest place on earth, AKA Disney World, roller coasters, Disney characters, along with photos of the ocean and the glistening sandy beaches nearby. The enticing photos kept the family determined in the attainment of this dream vacation. The mother and instigator of the vision board wrote out the full amounts for the family trip. She did the research on flights, hotel accommodations, dining, and tickets to the attractions. Underneath the vision board sat a small table with a box. The box had a little slit cut out at the top for donations or contributions to the goal. Each time visitors and family members would stop by, they would inquire about the vision board and the box and want to contribute to this goal, myself included. When the children earned extra money or were given cash gifts for special occasions, it all went toward the vision. This middle-class, single-income family of eight went on their dream vacation to sunny Florida without going into debt. That's the power of having a vision 
and a vision board consistently before your eyes. Anyone can tack a picture onto a corkboard of a sports car, a mansion, or a wad of cash, but that's too broad. You need to be very specific about your desires. If your desire is to have money in your savings account, then print out a photo of cash, but also write out exactly how much you want in your account. You will need a board. This can range from a poster board at your local pharmacy or supermarket to a cork board from any craft store or office mart. You can use a magnetic board if you desire. There are also very crafty upscale boards available at different stores. I use a simple cork board and wrap it with a beautiful large frame to dress it up and display it as a decorative piece. Pictures, magazines, postcards, brochures. You'll enjoy researching images to match your big dreams and your top goals for the year. Be as creative as you want. You can look through magazines and cut out photos or go on online and research the dream and print it out. You can use postcards, newspaper clippings, brochures, etc. Push pins or glue. You can decide which works best for you. I use push pins so I can remove goals once achieved and it doesn't leave a messy finish. Other. You will also need scissors, pins, markers, or stencil letters to prepare your images and write your goals on them. The fun thing about designing a vision board is that it is as unique as you are. Make it your own process. Some crafty types make the most beautiful embellished vision boards that could be sold at an art auction. Some people just tack seven photos on a poster board and they're done. It's okay. If you're one of those really creative personalities, you can add fancy stickers, cropped paper, embellishments, glitter, etc. Display your personality on this board. At the same time, don't pay so much bling that it loses its motivation toward achievement because it's just pretty artwork. In contrast to the artsy types, don't allow the pressure of making it fabulous stop you from ever doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be done. Remember, most people do not even know what they want, much less take the time to visualize their dreams and keep them before their eyes. You are miles ahead simply by following through with this project. And the good news is you can always change it up as you go along. It's a good idea to update your vision board annually. As goals are achieved, you can place them in your vision book as an encouragement and reminder that dreams do come true. For information on purchasing a dreams and goals notebook to store your completed goals, visit Terry, T-E-R-R-I dot com. Have fun designing your vision board. This is your future and you get to frame it. Action step. Schedule a time and commit to make a vision board. Well, thank you. That concludes our reading for this week, week two, Capturing the Vision. That again was chapter four of Dream It, Pin It, Live It, Design Your Board. I will convene with you on Saturday for watching the lecture session two, Capturing the Vision. Thank you. This has been the Vision Board course with Charlie, with our instructor, Minister Terry 